Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be unboxing this YJ 3x3 and this YJ 7x7. So, I've really been liking these YJ puzzles because they're really cheap and they turn really well. So, um, the reason I got the 7x7 and not the 6x6 was because I couldn't find the 6x6. But, anyways. Okay, so, um, let's first unbox this three by three so here we go trying not to break the box because yeah it just kind of looks cool it's like don't know how to describe it but if I can get this open without having to destroy the box um, That'd be good. Oh, I don't. Wow, this is so tight. I do not remember YJ boxes being like this. So if they changed it, well, just change it back. I don't understand. There. Okay, finally. Here we have the cube. So this is a budget cube just so that you know, and wait, what's this? Some thing to solve it, but here's the puzzle. And this was only like $10, so yeah, that's really good. It is magnetic, so yep, another good feature. Here we go. So I really like these shades. Wait, what? It's, I don't call that matted, but it's not glossy. It does look glossy, but it doesn't feel glossy. So let's get into some, some first turns. Whoa. What? This turns really well. I did get a corner twist, but so I think corner twists are going to be a problem. Cause it what? This actually it goes over 45. Yeah, this is really um fast. I just I do get some catches. So like that's the one problem. Catches and corner twists. But I think it is lubricated, so don't really have to lubricate this cube. Yeah, that's nice. Less work once you buy it. Um, wow. The magnets are pretty weak. Yeah, let's see. Then you open the cap easily. Nope, but hey. Yeah, that's a sticker. So, um, yeah, I think I'll do a solve on it. This is a really good budget cube for, like, beginners. So, yep. Okay. What? Oh. Oh, this is... Okay, wait. This is really uncontrollable. The one downside. It is a little clicky, but I don't think that really affects the performance too much. Um, what is this? Yeah, but when it's not catching or like when it's not catching or just really uncontrollable, this is really fast. Yeah, I can do algorithms really fast on this cube. Yep. Okay. So now let's move on to this 7x7. Seven seven. This thing is massive. Just looking at the box. See? Wait. <clears throat> oh, well, what? Wait, did... 
Why is the 3x3 three three so hard to open? Oh my gosh. Again, this instruction mate. What? Wait, is that? Wait, I need to count this. This is a 5x5. Five five. Is it? Yeah. They're lying. This is a 5x5. Five five. You can count it. But anyways. Into the puzzle. Here we go. Wow, these really small. Wow. Um, yep. First turns. Um, not that I've never had a seven by seven, so kind of turning slow here, but. Okay, so out of the box, the outer layers are kind of scratchy. They're kind of like, I don't know how to describe them. Stiff. Yeah, stiff. But the inner layers, yeah, they're pretty good. Um, yeah, so, um, like, the inner layers, they turn good, and the outer layers, uh, uh, they don't turn that good, but um, I think that's just because there's lubrication in here, and like they just put it in there. That's it. They just put it in there and then give it to you. So um, definitely after a few solves, it will get better. I've never solved a seven by seven before, so yeah, that'll be fun. Um, hopefully. Like, hopefully it's not horrible, but, um, I do feel like the tensions are a little tight on this cube. Yeah, just a, just a little tight. You might want to loosen that if you want to. Yeah, um, other than that, I think yeah, they have pretty normal, um, color scheme, nothing weird, like, on their box, like, why do they do that? Like, there's no purple on this, wait, what color is that? So we have the white on top, the blue, they switched out red for purple. Okay, um, that's kind of weird, but, um, comparing the two, Actually, really clicky. Yeah, like this one's clicky, but this one, yeah. The bigger they get, the smoother it is. So I'm not sure on um if it will catch a lot because um I'm not turning that fast because it's just a little stiff. But um uh, I think. Wait, Oh, I was going to test the corner cutting, so let's test one piece at a time. Oh. I mean, it goes about, like, this line goes about to here, so, like, yeah. Um, but, yeah, uh, it's not that good corner cutting, but, like, also, it's a really big cube. Like, it's really... Wow, this is really big. Um, yeah, so, um, very smooth. The inner layers on the bigger YJ puzzles, they just get nicer. The outer layers, they're uh, not that good. But, anyways, so, um, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did like it, definitely hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.